to a new video. We're doing part two of episode four of our road to top 100 season 10 and uh, season 10 rather to top 100 and above. Um, last time we lost to the guy who just uh, spammed air slash with his token because <laughs> um, one boat speed ties and crit me on the second one on my ditto by the way. Crit my weevil as well so I didn't even have the chance but uh, yeah those kind of things happen. This is why the ladder is sometimes unpredictable. What matches you're supposed to win, uh, you sometimes lose. And uh, yeah, um, that's, that's Pokemon, guys. It's Pokemon, but uh, we're going to go to the next one. And yeah, at that point, I did decide to put Ice Shard on Weevil, as you guys can see here. But I'm going to skip ahead. So, I have this matchup. Um, actually, I think I had another matchup as well. Oh, yeah. I this one Let, let's just skip this one the novice trainer but interesting uh kind of strange semi stalls or arc team or something i um, don't really don't re really remember much of this battle but i don't think it's interesting i think he gets six out by my wheezing so let's see i'm gonna skip this one as well on rain team with verdant which doesn't make use out, doesn't get speed boosted. Uh, we're gonna skip to here, I think. See if I show my rating though. See if I can find myself showing the rating. Um, I'll pause the video otherwise, and then uh, otherwise I'll skip through this part. Okay, um, I, I actually, um, I didn't uh, reveal my rating there. So we'll just go into this battle. Uh, my opponent running quite an offensive team with a ditto. Pretty interesting. Um, I actually think this is a funny. <laughs> I think we both lead up with the ditto. Because I like leading ditto for an offensive team as well. Uh, without a clear style rocker. Uh, well, guard jumps most likely the style rocker. But I think we both let ditto. And uh, yeah, you guys will see the sequence. <laughs> Because throughout our playing um, in this road to top 100 and beyond, um, I improved the ditto <laughs> as you're about to see. Okay. Do I lead me in show here? There's no way. I want to keep. Because I definitely want to keep me in show for the tight dragon. Maybe that's another game though. I guess I do lead me in show. At least Garchomp, which is most likely the Stealth Rock leader now. Yeah. With Focus Sash, meaning that he cannot kill me. So maybe that's the reason I chose to go for this. But I wanted to I wanted to get some potential damage off on him and then maybe get Ditto in. To get some big boy damage and that's definitely an offensive Garchomp because that U-turn did a lot. Might be Hasty as well. Hasty over Naive. But I wonder if I go Ditto here. Scissor can easily come in too. Especially if you have Scarf, so I go Gliscor. Which looks to be really strong versus him as well. And I don't really care if Ditto copies my plus two. And it's a leftovers guard jump as well. That's crazy. Do I have facade here? What do I have facade for? What do I have facade for? I guess facade does put damage on this and does damage his whole team too. Because it, I don't think he brings in scissor on this. And he does go straight into Hydrake and so I get the chip here. And then we get to see if he has leftovers on this. I crit him too. Doing quite some damage to him. And we do see the leftovers. And I can just go into Mian Shell, which I literally have for this. And yeah, t you guys tell me. What is this close combat switch? You guys tell me. Because I can easily U-turn, but what is this close combat switch? He can go back into Garchomp, I guess. To take a million. But he decides to go Conkeldar, which 
I don't mind because this re relieves a lot of pressure from my Weezing, which also needs to deal with Scizor, which needs to deal with Berloom. So damaging this boy, really helpful. And I kind of want to U-turn air, but if he does randomly mock punch, that can put me into an awkward position as well. But if you're confident, you U-turn air. Just for that extra chip on him. Because I'm really the... Because usually Weezing would be a switch. But if I switch in Weezing to a facade or something, it's going to be really painful. And I was considering just going Ferrothorn there. Because Ferrothorn wouldn't do much this game. And I don't think he's going to go for a fighting type attack on my... When I have a Weezing and a Gliscor in the back. Because I can easily make the Weezing switch. But if I switch it into facade, I take like 35 to 40% damage. And then dealing with Breloom later on and Scissor might be more difficult so we do go into uh, the Ferrothorn there as he doubles out into the Hydreigon I don't know if I stay in here because I'm pretty sure I died to Flamethrower I live Focus Blast but we don't know the we don't know if he has Flamethrower or, or Focus Blast. It's usually either or, because uh, the set is usually not simple with Taunt or Substitute. Uh, I was checking my AVs and I think I was caulking here. I can caulk now though. I don't like caulking. It's if I if I know I'm caulking, I might as well. Uh, we have Barathorn versus uh, Dragon, and I'm pretty sure I died to Flamethrower, but if I live, I might stay in. Oh, I actually live. I actually live, Flamethrower. So I spiked up. As he Focus Blast, I missed. Um, I spiked because it does more damage to his overall team. And I wasn't too worried about Hydreigon as I do have Mianxiao in the back. So now I Stealth Rock up. Because he missed. And he revealed Focus Blast. He nasty put it up. Which is fine. This is like... Literally fine, I can revenge kill this. I just waited for him to kill me. But I got Steldrak as Spikes up against him, even though my parent didn't have any business being in this game. Because all his attackers could pretty much kill me. Unless Garchomp is not running any fire type attacks, but he just gave me a plus two, uh, a plus two ditto. And this is something, this is something you. You guys gonna learn the interaction. I'm at plus two. I have Stealth Rock plus Spike Slip, so I don't care about predicting Scissor. Because I still think this is gonna 2 hit KO on the Scissor. And he sacks Conkeldar, so I don't have to worry about him. And then he... He he doesn't know about this interaction. And I'll show you. Because I think he, go he goes into his own ditto now. And... This is not how it works. Yeah, he goes into Ditto, trying to imposter me, but I'm a Ditto originally. So this is not a bug, this is how it really works. And now Ditto just dies, <laughs> because he, he didn't know about this interaction. So Scissor comes in, that plus two, but I don't think I, I am going to stay in. Or am I? I actually am. Because damaging this, that means I only have to keep... I, I, I guess that's fine. Because I only had to uh, keep... Then I only have to commit Weezing to uh, Breloom. But here, he's at plus two. Um, so I have to sack something. I think I just sack Glyce. Do I just sack Gliscor? Or do I just sack Mianxia? Or do I just sack Weevil? I did put Ice Shard on my Weavile, so what I can do is just stay in here and go Weavile afterwards, Ice, Ice Shard and if he swaps he's gonna die to Hazards I think that's the play Do I sack Weavile? That would be strange, okay 
Um, I got, that can work too, but um, it made more sense to me. Uh, it makes more sense to me now just to Dragon Pulse there. Because three of his Pokemon are Ice types. And I'm pretty sure I put Ice Shard on Weevil from here. But maybe, maybe it didn't have Ice Shard. I thought I put Ice Shard on it. Uh, but yeah, I can go back into the Ditto here. As he goes High Dragon, and I just click Dragon Pulse again. We saw he was left over, so there's no Habon Berry here. I knock out the Hydreigon. And I might even be able to knock out the Breloom too. But... Yeah. Maybe not. That, there's no need for me to stay in. I can just go Weezing. It's literally why I have this. But yeah, I guess my opponent learned a valuable lesson this, in this game. That Ditto cannot copy Ditto. And I just Toxic Spikes, he's gonna spore me anyway. Um, but it's completely fine. Because my Ditto already wins at this point. His, his Breloom is way too low. He does go into Garchomp. But now I literally win with Ditto. I actually woke up there. I think I just got Mianxiao here. Would be strange if he styled Rock Substitute with Home Claw, because then he only has one move, so I actually go straight into Glyscoraka. That's that's fine too. That's actually actually better. I just thought about Mianxiao being useless at this point, but he doesn't do anything to my Glyscore regardless. He just SD in his face as he dragon rushes. I think he gets the flinch on me, but it... I don't know if he gets the flinch on me. Facade there. He misses. Yeah, now I just earthquake sweep him. I actually sacked my Mian Shao. In case he does flinch me, because I can still use Gliscor versus... Okay, I do show my rating. But I could still use Gliscor versus the Breloom. But Mian Xiao is less useful, because it's most likely slower. But yeah, we we are at 730.56, 88.46% win rate. Uh, so we're gonna go to the next one, which my opponent... Bringing... You already saw a stall, a Ducturio stall team. Kind of typical. So yeah, this Duck Trail stall team with Weavile. Um, I think I've seen it before. But yeah, we, we, we're playing against it. It's fine. Um, some things to, got, to keep in mind. Um, I can kind of destroy him with Weavile if Rotom. If the Rotom is gone, um, the... The annoying thing about facing a team like this, though, is that I, it's really difficult for my ferret run to get up hazards for Cespian because it's usually a bulky Espion. And yeah, I lead off with Mianchao. I think I just U-turn, but I'm not sure. U-turn seems logical to me. Or do, do I just knock him off? What if this is trick though? Yeah, I was gonna say. A U turn. I go first, so he's not choice card. So I can safely bring in my Pharaoh turn. We don't really care if he gets burned. And he does go for Wisp. 
And he's obviously just going going to Volt Switch into uh, into the Espion. Not much I can do about that one. I I actually made a really aggressive play by going into Glide Square here. But I'm pretty sure he's under pressure there. He's under pressure because he he doesn't want me to get up rocks, of course, with that guy, so. Now I go Mian Shao. Because he's I'm already I'm already burned, right? And because I know it's leftovers, uh, I don't really care about the status on my Mian Shao. I go for the I go for the U-turn. Thought about knocking air, but Yeah, we wasted a Hydro Pump. Always count the Hydro Pumps when you have Bly score on your team. The U-turn. And back to Ferrothorn we go. It's probably gonna be a really long game. <laughs> yeah. That's the second Hydro Pump. So that shit works out. Aqua Necklace. <laughs> but the Earthquake from Ductra will do around 60% to me. Uh, to my Mian Chao. I just keep s switching between those. And I wait for him to Volt Switch. And basically wait for him to go into Espion so I can trap him. Because if he goes Ductra, Ductra doesn't kill me from here. And then I can U-turn and trap the Ductrio. And with Ductrio gone... Um, well, Ductrio is not, not not a big issue for me. But I can get rid of him. He, he does get up his rocks there. Which is obviously annoying. But uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do to stop it. But look at my damage and now I can just get rid of his... Uh, is Ductra, and that way you cannot trap my Ditto if I copy something like, um, like Espion. But we just pursue there. It would be funny if I had Brick Break here. In case he goes Weaver. <laughs> I don't know. But, um... Yeah, Ductra gone. That way, I also don't have to worry. Yeah, if I had brick break, if I had brick break here, that would have been hilarious. He's got. He's most likely going for ice spear. It's it's tough. It's tough dealing with Weaver, but I. Even though I got rid of Ductra, he still got, a, got up his rocks. I cannot remove his rocks, and I cannot get up my own hazards because of Espion. I decided to go SP, uh, go into Ferrothorn there. It's three hits. And I think I maybe I tried to get up rocks here. In case he, he goes for the kill here. And I just went for Power Whip, okay. Because I don't lose anything from taking rocks. He does go Espion, but he already has rocks up, so I, I could have tried, like... But I'm curious, because I don't remember uh, th this game much. But I go straight into uh, Mian Shao here. Maybe anticipating a uh, Hidden Power Fire or something. But my opponent actually went for a Wish. So maybe I just knock off here. He goes for Psychic. Surprised that he went for Psychic though. What if I was Choice Scarf? What if I was Choice Scarf U turn or <laughs> something? But 
but I think I have to go Gliscor here. Roost up a couple of times. Because before I want to pursue Trap Despian, um, I need to make sure. Um, he has, I have a bit of chip damage on him. So I went into the Gliscor. And Psychic shouldn't do it kill me, especially if he runs a... I'm just gonna heap it on passes. And yeah, it, it, it was just so painful against the Weavile because I couldn't get up Stealth Rock versus him. So I really had to make um, make a case there by... He's gonna click Icicle Spear now. I should have clicked Stealth Rock there. Stealth Spikes in case he did go Espion for some reason. And now I go Weezing. And I just lay down the Toxic Spikes. Because I don't care about Espion. But to win, I need to beat, es beat Espion so I can actually copy this Pokemon. But I, I did expect him to go Weezing here. I did get in my Gliscor. And I can still win this game with Gliscor too. I started Source Dancing in his face. And he did go into his Rotom. I think... Oh, I don't think I knocked him up actually. But I think I'm going for this 2-hit KO here. Because it's a roll. But I got Chip on him. I'm not sure. Because I don't have a Ferrothorn, so... I don't feel like I really am in a position. But maybe I try to go Ditto so I can actually debuff his Stealth Rocks away. And I baited out the Hydro Pump. I baited out the Hydro Pump. Uh, so... Yeah, I baited out the Hydro Pump by Swords Dancing. And so I can get a debug off, because his Stealth Rocker is gone. So now both of us don't play with Stealth Rock. He did Wisp my Ditto, meaning that I have a Burn Ditto versus his Weavile. But that's... It is what it is there. Much we can do about it. And he does go for a Volt Switch. And this Volt Switch damage shouldn't put me in range of... Uh, psychic. I think I just used in there. Because we got rid of his leftovers. I think I just used in. But I'm not sure how much damage we, we did last time. I, I guess I'm scrolling up the battle tab at that point. Because I was playing seriously. So I went into Weavile directly. On the psychic. As he did go Psychic, so that worked out. And... Night Slash or Pursuit. I went for Pursuit as he protected. And now he's most likely staying in because he thinks I'm locked in. So I can knock him out with Night Slash. And yeah. So that's basically what we were plotting. Um, he was actually... He's fully defensive, so... I didn't kill him with Night Slash. But it's still helpful that I got him to that... With such a low amount of HP. And I think Mianxia is going to come in again. Or do I go Ditto? Because he doesn't have a ground type anymore. So I can use Ditto to Volt. No. Yeah, but yeah really getting rid of the rocks re did really help though. He does burn me here, but yeah, really fine. I knock him off here to get rid of his leftovers. As he went for Hydro Pump. So that's another Hydro Pump gone. I think he used three Hydro Pumps now. I think I... I might Rock Slide here. Oh, we just U-turn. Do I go into Gliscor here? It would be ballsy. No, I just went into Ditto. Okay. 
Well, by going into Ditto, even if he Volt Switches, he cannot uh, bring in the Weaver. But I can still use Ditto. I can still use Ditto. Uh, but he cannot go into Weaver because I can just Volt Switch him. But I can still use Ditto to heal with his Blissey. By going... And getting this Volt Switch damage off is also really nice. Um, wonder what I go into now. Do I go back into Shao? Yep. Um, getting this damage off. Because I knocked up his item. And I vo got Volt Switch damage off on him. So, next time I Sword Stance with Glide Squirts a 2 hit KO. So we're slowly getting back into this game. And I think I just U-turn here as well. As he went for Psychic and it shouldn't kill me. Oh, it did kill me. But it's still fine. I get rid of Espion. So I just pursue there. Fine. He tried, he, he tried double protecting. Oh, we both lost two Pokemon. But yeah, his Weevil is looking really strong versus me. Right now. I guess Rotom can be scary too. He does decide to go Rotom now. And do I just Night Slash here? Why am I hovering Pursuit? Because if this is burnt, I might have trouble versus his uh, Weavile. But I do need to kill this as well. And if I let him Volt switch on me, that would suck. I just Night Slash there. And he does end up Hydroing. But my Weezing is still at full HP. So, in that sense, Weezing can still beat the Weavile. But I did go Glide Square here. Because maybe he didn't want to miss a Hydro. As he, does, as he did indeed Volt. I get this back to full HP. I wonder if I just go for the 2 hit KO here. Yeah, I do go for the 2 hit KO here by Swords Dancing in his face. He, he did Hydro me. He could have missed. But this guarantees me a kill. I roost once because he could miss. He could still miss. And he could not be PP maxed here either. And if he for some reason switches out, I have a full HP Blissey. Uh, I have a full HP Gliscor now. And I wonder if this is Wish Teleport. But I Earthquake Air because I am at plus two. And he, he goes for Ice Beam, but that's never going to kill me. And I might just Earthquake here anyway. Or do I Facade here? I just Roost it. It's still a 2 hit KO. But I guess I wanted this outside of Hydro Pump range. Because he did Teleport. So Weavile's going to come in again. Like I felt like I should have just Earthquake there. Because I would have still gotten Recovering. I would be... I would need... Um, yeah. Still tough, still tough. Do I go Weezing or do I sack Weaver? I can bring in Weezing. Oh, we do sack Weaver. Hurts me. I mean, maybe I would have left two hits. <laughs> Who knows? I go Weezing and I think I'm gonna double into Gliscor here. Or I double into Ditto. But. We'll see. We'll see how I play it. Do I just go for Toxic Spikes? I go for Toxic Spikes first then. But I cannot afford to let Weezing take damage. I go into Gliscor as he hard switches into Weezing.
wonder if he goes straight into Weavile here. I double into Weezing in case he does make that play. I think what I'm looking for here, um, for the sequence he stayed in, kind of crazy, um, getting up Toxic Spikes. And forcing him to... I don't remember what I was... What my initial plan here was, to be honest. But I know I, that I'm trying to get Ditto. Ah, oh, this is not good. This ain't good. I was trying to catch the Blissey with Ditto. He even burned me. This might be a loss. We'll see. I, I'm really persistent though on those toxic spikes. But I feel like I already lost to Weavile. Unless my opponent makes a huge mistake. I feel like he always goes hard weevil here. Yeah, I don't think I win this. The matchup was just too tough. Yeah. Unless for some reason I'm able to knock this out. Oh, no, we, we just lost this. Okay. Because what I should be trying is there to catch the Weavile on Earthquakes. Catch, the er catch him on Earthquakes, basically. Um, but yeah, we'll just go on for the next one. And yeah, next opponent is similar. Similar. Wheezing, Rodom, Dancy, or Blissey. Really similar. <laughs> and a Weavile, but this one has Garchomp and Breloom. Yeah, that's, that's the tough thing. Because we kind of struggle against Weavile. Because uh, the way to deal with Weavile is get up our hazards, but if if I have so much trouble getting rid of the of the Espion, and by the time I got rid of Espion, my Ferrothorn was already gone. But yeah, now we have this game. Knock him off. He whisked me. Not sure how long how long this game will take though, but. Uh, Let's just see. We so U-turn here. And he just burns my whole team. I, I just need to try to activate the orb on my... Um, my Gliscor. Uh, the burn does mean that Breloom is not able to click Toxic Spikes on me. But I click Toxic here as he goes Chansey. 
Um, we do get rid of the natural cure, so in that sense, um, not bad. And I think I just pain split there because he's most likely gonna teleport anyway, so that he doesn't have his guard, so his guard jump doesn't get poisoned or something. But maybe I just swap out here. I don't know. I, I just went for toxic spikes. Okay. Well, in that sense, he'll be forced. He'll be forced to go into uh, wheezing if I get by going for toxic spikes because the others gets poisoned. The other ones gets poisoned. Let's see. How do I proceed there? Do I go Gliscor now to activate my orb? Uh, you cannot go freely into Weavile. Maybe I just go Gliscor now. Because if he goes if he goes Weavile on Gliscor, he gets poisoned. I, uh, I did go for Pain Split as he went into the Rotom. Um, I don't think I get much HP back here. I actually lost HP. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, should have gone Gliscor there. I pain split again. That did a lot. <laughs> that full switch did a lot. Holy crap. But I get quite some HP back. And if he goes wheezing, that's a lot of chip too. But I still need to activate my orb on Gliscor and I need to get Stalbrook up so my opponent defogs. I actually don't get this play. He went hard Weavile on me. The fuck? Because Weavile is a bigger threat than Berloom, even though Berloom is definitely a threat to me. wonder if I stay in or swap to Pharaoh here. Yeah, I do go into Feral Turn. He does go for Spear. Luckily, only two hits. Does he really want to lose Weavile, though? Apparently. He gets his four hits here. But... I think I'm gonna swap out here. Because this can still be useful against the Rotom. And I can leech it against Chansey too. And maybe I go into Ditto or into Weavile. Ditto kinda makes sense. Is what Um I don't take super effective damage from Stealthrock. I have more HP than my Weavile. In case he wants to go for the kill. If he doesn't go for the kill, that's fine too. And now I can trap this Weavile and don't have to switch into this guy. So I was completely fine with taking this trade. And yeah, I just pursued him here. He dies and I don't have to switch into him. Well, my Weezing is still at half HP. And he actually thought that I... Well, this is actually the Ditto, so... I have to go into uh, Weezing here. I wasn't sure if this was Poison Hill or uh, Technician. Because I, I remove his item anyway. But he uses Substitutes, I assumed. Okay, he's uh, Poison Hill. And yeah. Land Thrower as he focus punches. I wonder if Focus Punch is even killing me from there, to be honest. Yeah. Poison damage too. And I die. But that helps. And it is indeed Poison Heal. So what I can do... Um, I think I can just go into Weavile. I think Weavile's better. Um, I can go Mianchao too. 
Just click close combat. But it, I I think I have to go with all here. And it's gonna rely on my glide score to beat this later on. Uh because he He's most likely running Seed Bomb on that thing. Dub, or is running Lead Sheet, but Glyscore should be able to knock him out with Facade later on. Right now, I just need to force him out and try to activate the Europe on my Glyscore. That's basically what we need to try to do. I, I shot it just in case. He would have Mach Punch, just in case. <laughs> Like I said, I just needed to force him out. I didn't really care whatever came in, but he decided to sack uh, the Berloom regardless. And yeah, now I felt, felt really confident that I could win with my uh, Gliscor. But still, I needed to activate the Orb. And yeah, my options to bring in weren't that... Nicely. Actually, did go Glide Square here. Because he doubled into Rodom, okay. Well, I, I, I still had the option to click Facade versus him, so I could have still set up on him, and Facade would still do a lot of damage, so it, that was probably my thought process there. This Facade still hits this whole team. And I need to click Facade on the Rotom anyway, and the burn does only 6% six, 6 damage to me every turn, so I don't really mind. I did go into Mian Shao on this one. Do I just U-turn here? Yeah. But it makes sense that he did so much damage to me earlier. Because he he's actually faster than my Rotom. Uh, than my Mian Shao. But yeah, I get the U-turn off here. Oh, he might be faster than my Glide Score too. That's something I gotta keep in mind. But because Glide Score has his orb activated now, um, it's a bit easier to deal with. I think I still Sword Stance here. Because the Rotom is poisoned. He did go for Pain Split, so he's gonna die to the next Earthquake. I don't think I'm gonna Facade there. If anything, I just Roost. Oh, I do Facade, okay. Oh, I did go for that Prediction. Oh, and that actually ended up working out. I feel, I feel like Roosting would be fine too. Because with full HP, I'm pretty sure I live a Hydro Pump. No, I'm at plus two. Um, yeah, I don't, don't really want to throw here. But I don't know what this guy is going to do. Um, I am at... I'm outside of Choice Band and Dragon Claw range. The only thing I can die to is Life or Draco Meteor, but then he really needs a good roll on me. I was looking at the possibilities of me dying, so, and yeah, I didn't I didn't let him. I just sack this. His Rodom is gone. I don't really need this. And he did go for Dragon Claw. And that's not Choice Band. Because he would have done way more damage to me. Especially if he switches up, switches up moves there. But he doesn't. So it, it can be Scarfed. And because of that, he cannot kill my Gliscor from there. It's like 35 to 43 or something. That's the, that's the roll. I think I just go Gliscor here and just click Roost. We don't see leftovers, so he can still he can be scarfed. And if he's scarfed, I don't want to go Weevil because then Weevil's just gonna die. <laughs> or I have, to, I have to lock myself into Ice Shard, but then Weezing can come in. I think it's way we, it's better if I go Glide Square here. Yeah, 
I can just roost spam. To the point where he cannot do it KO me. Luckily he doesn't crit me. And we just keep roosting. Roosting till we out till we are pretty much at full HP. And this is pretty much full HP. Because I don't want to stay in too long, because then he can just swap into Weezing. And let me die uh, to my poison. But at plus 2, I don't kill him here. So I, I wonder what I do. Because he can still make the play, swapping in Weezing randomly on a Roost of mine. But I need to be at plus 2 to knock out Weezing from there. But I just, I just uh, earthquake him, and the next time I get to plus two, it is a two it it is a one hit KO. So now I just keep roosting, and I'm still not gonna die uh, if Weezing randomly comes in. Am I thinking about resetting the poison there? Or do I just earthquake? Yeah. Okay. So what I can do now is... I can swap. Okay. Um, What I could do in that situation, guys. One, once I... Once I get those two earthquakes on him, if... nah, never mind. Uh, once I get those two earthquakes, I can get to full HP. Sec, Mian Chao, to reset the poison on my glide score. Go Weavile, click Icicle Spear. He can, because uh, Garchomp was gonna die to Stealth Rock at that point. So if he switches out, it's fine. Force got. Um, let Weevil die to Weezing. My Gliscor will be at full HP. I click Sword Dance once or twice, depending on what uh, the Weezing does to me. Then I kill uh, the Weezing and then I kill Chansey, obviously. So that's that. Uh, let's see if we check our rating. I'm not checking the rating, but uh, I'm going to end up this episode 47 minutes in. Really long episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, check out the team on Patreon. There's a poker paste with a team building video on Patreon. Link in the description. Check it out and join the Discord server. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.